You're listening to The Kinda Nerdy Girls. Where fandom meets fun. I didn't feel like you were really in your voice guy voice there. You're like more like just my husband voice. Oh, is that? Okay. Yeah. 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 Just try it. Just one more time. Welcome <laughs> to the... <laughs> I'm failing okay, epically. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I, 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 I'm, I'm uh, throwing you into the panel here. You, you pretend like you're a kind of nerdy girl. Uh, so here's the deal. It's a Friday. We put out a podcast every Friday. Uh, but uh, this is the Friday, uh, 24 hours after Wizards Unite came out, the new Harry Potter game, which is basically like Pokemon. Uh, but for Harry Potter fans. Pokemon Go, yeah. Yes, yes, Pokemon Go. So Katie is missing in action. I'm certain she's on like level 206,000 something uh, hundred. And <laughs> 206,000 hundred. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, I am I, I am proud of the fact that I made it to level seven. Uh, but then, hey, I was with you. We had to work hard for that. We worked really hard on that one. Uh, and, we, and we had to be like creepers. Yes. Oh, my gosh. OK, yeah. So first thoughts on uh, Wizards Unite. Uh, and then we're going to talk about uh, a few other headlines that you probably haven't heard Uh to Katie's defense, this has been sort of a crazy week, which is why we're doing our podcast from the couch tonight. Uh, so I th- we had some uh, th- uh, personal stuff going on. I th- my sister's been in the hospital. Uh, I-, I can say this to you because she told me to post the picture where I was rescuing her from pixies that were invading her room <laughs> while I was playing <laughs> Wizards Unite. So we're going to go through. Uh, we've got uh, a little Star Wars news. Um, uh, some fast and furious news that might interest you, Mr. Voice Guy. Well, as long as it has a rocket and everything's good. Oh, I think that this will actually make it even better for you. And you don't watch these movies, right? Have you watched I, the Fast I've, and the Furious? I have not seen a single Fast and the Furious movie. Okay, okay. So hang on for any, that. Any of the 72 that they've made. Uh, well, it's I believe this is news about Fast and Furious 9. So I would say that they've made eight. <laughs> Oh, 872, you know. Uh, okay, so uh, d- uh, initial thoughts on Wizards Unite from someone who hasn't been obsessed with it. Uh, 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 my husband, Patrick, voice guy. Uh, you... oh, I'm going by Patrick now, I'm official. Oh, Patches, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, we're sitting on the couch, I don't know, it's, it just seems weird. Um, so Ow. you've only uh, played the game for a couple of hours. Yes. Uh, what, 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 your thoughts? Because I sorry, been, I was moving my uh, uh, seven foot tall '90s uh, receiver remote. Can we talk about how we need to get a different receiver. We'll get and, to that. Like a sound bar, and I don't know. Take it easy. We'll get okay, to that. I'm telling you, even Captain, put a pin in that one. Even Captain Marvel from the '90s would laugh at that remote. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Wizards <laughs> unite. Wizards unite. You know. Um, Having never played Pokemon Go okay. as well, um, and a lot of friends that did play Pokemon Go, you know, I'm, you know, I as a Harry Potter fan, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I think it's really cool. I like the concept of it. Okay. Um, it just it, like for me, like I like I like how you have to be interactive and you have to like make patterns on your phone to uh, perform spells to release uh, release certain people or things or whatever the case is. Yeah, I, I think that's really really cool. I like that interactive uh, aspect of it. My only my then this is just me personally. Okay. My only downside of that is, um, and I said earlier, that's a rabbit hole. I don't know if I can if I can go down because well, it, yeah. it's you know then i would just be non-productive at everything i did <laughs> and, uh that is if if you listen to this podcast often that is the same reason that when katie's like i wish you would play these games and uh, you you would love overwatch and you would uh, uh, yeah i would and then I would stop doing everything else. And realistically, we could have left the restaurant like a half hour earlier than what we did tonight, but yeah. it was a hot spot. So you just kept, yeah, we just were, kept hitting things. We were, uh, if you're in Indianapolis, we were at the Stacked Pickle. And uh, every time we thought we were going to leave, 
uh, there'd be some more uh, magical tasks that I would need to perform. But the bartender was a big Harry Potter fan. I tell you, at this point, I feel like Harry Potter Wizards Unite owes me some money because I've literally every single person I've run into today. That because you were wearing a hog a Hogwarts shirt. Yeah, I'm today. wearing my Hufflepuff so then uh, Quidditch yeah, shirt. Yeah, they're like. Oh my gosh, I love Harry Potter. And I'm immediately like, are you playing a game yet? Right, yeah, that, yeah, that's your... <laughs> Are you yeah. playing game? That's just, your like, first words out of your mouth. I, I don't even know your name, but let's talk about how you should be downloading Wizards Unite right now. Right, right. Um, it's really fun. And, you know, I like that... You know, I, well, I was a little irritated earlier today sitting on this couch because I was like, you know, Jones into play and it wants you. <laughs> it, it, I was. And it wants it's you. It's already begun. To be active. So I think that that's a good thing. Uh, it's not a video game that you can get lost in and uh, you sit in front of your TV. You, it's, it's on your phone. You download it. And uh, then you got to walk around. You got to go places to uh, get things. And and you know what? That that's something that um, something I I noticed about Pokemon Go as well. Uh, the 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 aspects of getting out, having to go out and and work for what you're doing, which is really cool. Um, but also the cool thing was uh, of what I saw and was uh, you know like say downtown Indianapolis, mm-hmm. people walking around like on their phones, which to me it's still weird but like not paying attention to where they're going but like they would run into other people and be like hey are you playing pokemon go and then it was a conversation starter yes. and then all of a sudden all of a sudden it, it's a relationship builder yeah and there are um you have your own uh code that you can add friends um there's it doesn't seem to be anything going on with that but i think it's going to be similar to how they did with pokemon go with it, where there will be meetups and things like that uh but it is interesting that they found a way to take uh the the video game or uh, you know any kind of like mobile game concept and make people one be active and two be social because yeah. that that actually like the gaming in itself does not lend itself to either of those two things. <laughs> well, um, well, the social part, yes, yes, it does. Uh, because I mean, well, and this is just coming from you and I, who do not play games. Uh, we're you know we're not online. We mm-hmm. we don't have the headsets. You know, think of our niece yeah. who who plays online all the time, and she's got her friends that she's you know all over the world that she's that she's on her headset with mm-hmm. talking to and playing. So the social as- aspect is there. Yes. Okay, but, but the fit like. But face the, to face yeah yeah that, yeah that, that this will provide that like you said you walk past someone and you're like oh you're playing <laughs> right <laughs> I love Exa- this game. Like, exactly it's, it's a reason to have conversation out in public uh now the one thing that uh i i, I did <laughs> take issue with uh is i find it a little bizarre and this is the it, it, twice today i noticed when i was out <laughs> Uh, about- so, sorry about the bell. Uh, our 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 darling uh, baby Amelia is playing with one of the toys she never plays with. Are you bored, Amelia? So I found the noisiest toy I could, and I wanted to play while you are podcasting. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> whose idea was it to uh, make uh, destinations? Uh, Playgrounds. Oh, that's so creepy. The that daycare and- <laughs> playgrounds. Uh, my sister works at a daycare, and I warned that's her. Very close today. to our house. Yes, I warned her today. I'm like, hey, if you see any strangers wandering around your playground, it's because <laughs> the Harry Potter game is sending people to daycare <laughs> playgrounds. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Now, to our defense, we we showed up there at nine thirty at night. Right, which so, is also creepy. It like, was really creepy. Like, it was yeah, very let's, creepy. Let's go across the street to the playground now and see see what we can do with this Wizards Unite game. <laughs> I mean, and it didn't disappoint. It didn't. It didn't. It's, it's been you. You super got to fun. level up, so I mean, uh, that, that that's always a plus. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty happy. I would love to know if you're listening now what level you're on. Um, I made it to uh, uh to seven. Yep. As, hashtag kind of nerdy girl. So yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you yeah, you can follow us uh, at Kind of Nerdy Girls on Twitter and Instagram. Or uh, Kind of Nerdy Girls? Uh-huh. Or what's the website? 
kindandnerdygirls.com. Wow, that's so simple. It's hard to be interactive on on that. You can comment on our on our podcasts for sure. Oh, on YouTube, yeah. Yeah, on, not only on YouTube, but on the website. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Girls.com, You can comment on the podcast. See, I'm, I'm a little behind the, I'm a little behind the curve. I'm just the voice guy. Clearly. Yes. Clearly. So, uh, Thank uh, you. A uh, <laughs> uh, couple of headlines. Uh, Fast and Furious 9 will include John Cena. Oh, my God. So, John Cena and The Rock. I mean, I guess there's, you know, like The Rock is in the. Somehow. Yeah, I, I know that. I know the most recent one with The Rock and uh, Jason Statham. What it's like, Calvin and Hobbes or something yes. like that. That Whatever. looks fun. That looks like you could actually. <laughs> I feel like we could go watch that, even though we haven't watched Fast and the Furious, and probably enjoy it. Well, yeah, and getting... and The Rock's cousin, WWE superstar Roman Reigns, is also in that movie oh, I, really? that I've seen. Yes, okay, yes. Yeah. It's nice having you here because you're kind of nerdy about wrestling. I am so. very nerdy about wrestling. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't have a lot to share about this because I didn't, I didn't read past the headline. I just feel like it's a headline that everyone needed in their life today. Russell Crowe got drunk on quote, a bunch of vodka and bought a dinosaur head from Leonardo DiCaprio. (laughs) (laughs) I... (laughs) <laughs> because when you're Russell Crowe, why not? I have, I have nothing else to offer there. Hey, Other Leo. Like, that's not a world we live in. <laughs> right. Hey, Leo. Hey, one hundred seventy-five thou. How's that sound, mate? Like, why does Leo have a, a dinosaur? Yeah, head? exactly. That should be the first question. <laughs> why in the hell does Leo DiCaprio have a dinosaur head? <laughs> so, and, and now, if you've watched, uh, if you watch Good Omens, I love the part right in the very first episode. You know, the dinosaurs being you know like four million years old. It's oh, like, yeah. oh, that's just a joke they haven't figured out yet. Yes, <laughs> yes. I love that part. Oh, and uh, uh, while we're on the subject of dinosaurs, I didn't mean to go there. Uh, I would like to point out to our uh, Doctor Who fans, maybe you won't have the same experience. It's been a while since I went back to the uh, first uh, episode with Peter Capaldi. And I think that we all need to go back to those episodes because when you're watching them initially, um, one, you, you like you're grieving uh, the doctor that is gone. Yeah. Um, you're nervous about what the future is going to be like. There's yeah. like all of this, like this build up and this tension and these emotions that are going into this. Yeah. Your first reaction is that's not Matt Smith. Right. Right. And that's how it was, you know, when it was like with, with Matt Smith, that's not David Tennant. You right. Know? I mean, it's well, and, and now, and, but see for, from our perspective, we didn't. So Peter Capaldi was the first doctor we ever saw regenerate in real time right that we waited like, yeah for. that yeah yes. that we waited for because we binged it all yeah we binged it all so we you know we had already done you know we had already been through Eccleson, Tennant, Matt Smith because I remember we were both like who the hell is Matt who's this guy this, oh, you yeah. know, this well, guy's annoying I mean, but then it's like this, you know two episodes is, in you're like oh I love this guy but uh, but yeah Capaldi was the first one that we were like okay this is we're we're gonna do this live and yeah. we're, we're nervous yes and so I went back and watched it and the reason i said speaking of dinosaurs because there's a dinosaur in the first episode um and i really i really enjoyed it Uh, having that space and then going back to it uh, i i thought you know what this was a this was a good introduction to the doctor it was you know and it's fun my you know my question was were people more upset about capaldi or were they more upset at stephen moffat Oh, who knows? That's the, and and that's the we thing. We don't get that deep on this podcast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that and that's that's why you know, and that's why you know, like sitting back, I'm sitting here going, you know, who you know, who the hell cares? Just just have fun. Yeah, and watch it. Yeah, but it is. I mean, you you can say that, but I know that we were sitting there being. Oh, I was nervous. nervous yes, we were sitting there being nervous with Jody uh, this last time around. Uh, and <laughs> by the way, so many uh, fun nerdy things that came out of what was actually a really uh, scary visit for my sister in the hospital, but she is okay. Uh, we we got to the emergency room, and imagine like, you get to the emergency room, and there's no place for you, but 
they're uh, they are acknowledging that this is not like the emergency you can wait for. <laughs> I'm and sorry, I can't, like, I can't, I just can't hold, I can't hold my okay. laughter because <laughs> I know it's coming. Uh, so we're, they're like, we're gonna get, we're gonna get your sister in a bed. She's gonna have to be in the hallway. You, you know, and you're like, what? What? Oh, we're we're just gonna we're gonna sit in the hallway. Okay, whatever. Like that busy. Okay, cool. Let's do that. And then. Uh, uh, are you okay? Yeah, no, Amelia is going after your dress. Oh, oh, I don't care. She's like, she can't reach my dress. Ah, gotcha. Uh, <laughs> this is how podcasts go from you the, say uh, that the couch. But uh, I, I, I'm like, okay, so they get me a, a chair. So I'm sitting in a chair in a hallway with my sister, who's in a, a bed hooked up to all of these things, and we're, uh, you know, pretty worried about what's going on with her because she's just had surgery and she's having some symptoms that aren't great. And I'm on my phone texting everyone like, hey, we're at the emergency room. Uh, you know, I don't know what's going on yet. We're in a hallway. Uh, <laughs> it's weird. Uh, everyone's going past us. Uh, and then all of a sudden I uh, hear this, this man walks up to us and says, <laughs> hello, I'm Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait yep. a second. <laughs> and I couldn't even look at my sister because I knew I could not keep a straight face. So <laughs> I'm like, I couldn't. Now, didn't she start <laughs> laughing? No, she didn't look at me either because she knew she would laugh. Ah, uh, gotcha. She's like, hello, Doctor Who. <laughs> and like, I'm sure he knows, right? And he was a lovely doctor. Uh, he, he was great, but the, every time, and it, yeah, I heard because we were sitting in the hallway, so we could hear conversations going on in the rooms that had patients. Uh, that they, at one point uh, we heard another uh, family that was there uh, laughing about the fact that he was he was Doctor Who. <laughs> 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 I didn't know that part. That's awesome. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, you make the most out of tough times. You find laughs. So what do you, what do you send them for a thank you? Fish fingers and custard or? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know. You know, he might not be into that. New mouth, new rules. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just don't send them apples. Apples are rubbish. Oh, and then uh, just one more headline and almost a, a more of a warning. Uh, and maybe it's not a big deal, but I was not going to uh, look past it because i don't want spoilers uh there uh, i saw a, a headline this morning that uh mark hamill basically kind of spoiled what's going to happen with luke skywalker now whether or not that's true i don't know because i i wasn't like ooh, let me click on this to see what the spoilers are for luke skywalker uh but it's out there so just real quickly be aware of that you know i <sighs> Mark Hamill is just too smart to do something like that. I agree. If it's out there, it's probably out there because they wanted it to be. Right. Um, but I, yeah, I, di I, di I did not click on it. But just, you know, just be careful because sometimes you click on those things without realizing it. And then you're like, oh, I found something out that I didn't want to know. So that is the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast from our couch. Uh, thank you, honey, for uh, stepping in. Yes. Katie, uh, hopefully she will step away from Wizards Unite at some point and uh, rejoin the Kind of Nerdy Girls. Uh, if not, you know, Jonna started a new job. Uh, uh, Kitsy's been out, you know, investigating ghosts, paranormal. Stuff. Oh, and and uh, the whole uh, the John uh, Favreau and RDJ thing too. Oh uh, yeah, we can't, yeah, we can't get um, off topic with that. But yeah, next time we talk to Kitsy, we'll have to find out how she ended up in Chicago in a Q and A like, ten feet away from RDJ session with with Robert Downey Jr. and John Favreau. I don't know. <laughs> that is a question we will answer on the next podcast, and hopefully, we're going to get Shelly back in because uh, Shelly is our our supernatural queen. Yes, and uh, she's been out on the road a lot with uh, the supernatural con so i'm sure she has some fun stories to share with us just one uh quick snap headline uh richard spade is going to be directing i saw i think four episodes of the last season of supernatural oh yeah and we got a date which was terrible like it was the, oh now it's real mm -hmm. starting is it october 10th mm -hmm. starting october 10th the beginning of the end <laughs> wah wah wah
Thanks for listening to was, the Kind of Nerdy Girls podcast. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what you're doing. There. Were you going like Space Invaders? Well, womp, womp, I'm wrapping or? up the podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't figure out what you're doing. <laughs> Sound effects are an art that you don't understand. Clearly not. Womp, womp, womp.